Hey YouTube family and welcome back. Thank you for being here with me today. We have a good bit of things that we need to accomplish. So stick around and you are coming with me. So today I am actually at the studio. I didn't have any routes today but I do have a couple of clients to service and I needed to get some cleaning done before they arrived. And so I was just trying to find something to watch on TV, mainly something inspirational or educational. Before I got into my cleaning, I had to remove this jewelry it already got started and as you can see I got something on my shirt I was so disappointed this caddy right here or cart if you should call it that is where I store and house a lot of my wax and facial products and I really needed to go through this and get rid of some things trash some things clean wipe down So I basically just removed everything off of the cart and I was able to wash white and like I said get rid of what I didn't need. In the background there is where I tattoo for my permanent makeup. Uh, I have to keep the aesthetics and the tattoo separate and so that's what you see in the background. Once I was done, everything was satisfactory to me. It looked a whole lot better. And it was basically my way of, I guess, decluttering. So, yeah. But I got that done, and then I moved on to the second phase of the cleaning, which was to clean my area. And this is where I perform my aesthetic services and um, the waxing, facials, brow tint laminations and so I wanted to give my table a good cleaning and so basically your girl loves to clean if you don't know that by now um, I'm big on cleanliness and I was actually looking at my plant which I'm so pleased with she has gotten so tall I think I have a green thumb now. But yeah, I wanted to get this done before my client arrived, who was probably about 15 minutes away. So this is my client that I service off screen. She basically came in for some added hair strokes, which this is a tattoo, it's, it's called microblading. And she just wanted to get her strokes touched up just a little. And so she is red because this was immediately after the procedure. So once I left the salon, I stopped by Ross, which is one of my stores that I like. Um, I know you know I'm a home goods person or kind of chick, but I stopped by Ross just to see what they had. This is therapy for me. I like looking at the decor and the pieces that they have there. And so I did purchase this little ivory house. I don't need a lot. I'm not really buying a lot this year for Christmas for decorating. These I will. Um, but I'm not buying a lot. Um, simply because I'm just going to use what I have to decorate uh, our tree. And this was a nine. I think this was about nine feet. And I like the tree. Did not like the lights. And I am looking for a more skinny, tall tree. Preferably something that is frosted. But they didn't have anything um, with the height that I was looking for. I like this tree, but of course, uh, 
you know, it didn't, it wasn't the height that I was looking for. So, uh, and so this was at Lowe's and they had a lot to choose from, but I just couldn't find what I was looking for. And I love this tree right here. This was my favorite out of all of them. But again, it was only about, I think, seven feet. looking to replace the wreaths on the pantry door and the coat closet but I'm not going with traditional uh, the traditional red this year everything is neutral this was gorgeous and of course it was out of stock and I thought of ordering it but wasn't sure if it would be back in time um, hopefully next week you all will come back and see how I decorate for Christmas but didn't think that this would make it back on time so yeah and hopefully you all will get to see how I also decorate this table which I did purchase um, I was searching for a coffee table um, for some time now and I saw this one and I like the color and so hopefully this will be delivered in time for me to decorate this for Christmas as well. And so this table will fit perfectly at the end of our sofa. I didn't want anything too big. This is the other table, which is like a standard size, which I didn't need, so I didn't get this one. So I only really got the the end, the smaller end table and the, the coffee table. And I hope I don't change my mind. And put so don't judge me, y'all. This is a runner that is in my bedroom. The reason why it is there, I don't know. My sons, they just come to my bedroom to use my bathroom and yeah so in the great room we are removing this rug that we've had about three years now and I'm switching around I have two new rugs that I purchased and we are basically just switching some things around take the tape off Oh, you're strong. Charles, you gotta roll it out. I really do like this rug, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm probably not gonna leave it here because of the traffic. And I know maybe I should stay away from neutrals, but oh well, I just, I just kind of like what I like, but I will put this probably in the office and probably bring the office rug to the great room area. this little one. So we are winding down the evening and my oldest son decided to help my youngest son with a project this is something that I purchased from Ross, but I was so glad that he stepped in to try to help him out. And as you can see, he is so excited. So 
So while they were finishing that, the girl got in the kitchen. And I don't know what he was humming to him back. So yep, your girl got in the kitchen and I had a taste for a fish and we eat a lot of fish. But yeah. So yeah, y'all, that is pretty much it for this video. We are winding it down for the evening and getting a little cozy, getting a little toasty. But anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you the next time.